What's up guys, how are you doing? My name is Raul Contreras, aka Duda, and today I will show you how to create a custom MIDI mapping that will allow you to trigger a song to a deck and the sync at the same time while you only press one button. So to go right along with it, let's go ahead and let's open up Tractor. As you guys uh, probably saw in my previous video, I ended up showing you guys how to create a mapping that give you a wet and dry effect and effect selector with one knob. So we will basically piggyback out of that custom mapping and create this new one. So first things first, we go to our preferences and then we're gonna go to controller manager. As you could see, I have my previous um, custom mapping over here, but we're going to do this new one. So first of all, we're going to add in a deck common and load select. Then we're going to learn this. I will press this for now unselect it, assign it to our track A, and close it. I will select one of my playlists, and boom, trigger it. As you could see, when I trigger this, the sync did not go right along with it. So basically, our purpose here is that as soon as we trigger a song, for our sync to trigger with that song. So we're going to go back to our preferences. We're going to go to Add In, Deck Common, sync on, learn, we learn the exact same button that we learned for our triggering, learn it out, select our deck, and this is a little tricky part that you guys need to learn, select the interaction mode that you want. We have toggle, hold, and direct. I will go over the three of them before I actually give you which one you need to select. In the first one, toggle, let's say. When I select a song, boom, it will trigger it and it will sync it. But then if I select another song, it will sync or it will trigger it, but it won't sync it anymore. So it toggles back and forth, one on, one off, one on, one off. So even in the same song, on, off, on, off. So we got to go back to our preferences, sync on, and we got to go to our next step. If we go into hold, what's going to happen is that we're going to select that song and as long as we're holding the button, the song will be synced. But as soon as we let go, it's out. So in every single song that will happen, in order for it to sync, you would have to leave it pressed. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to be playing and pressing the button. So what we need to do is, again, go to our preferences, select sync on, and go into direct. In direct, you will set to value to number one. So you can double click it, press number one, close it, and that's it. So now you could select any song, trigger it, and sync it. Boom, there you go. Another song, select, trigger it, and sync it. There you go. So again, as soon as you press this, not only will the song go into the track, but also the sync will tag right along with it. So guys, this was my second tutorial. Hope you guys um, were able to get it perfectly fine. Hope it was easy enough. And if you have any questions, go visit nativeinstrument.com. I mean, they got everything that you need to learn from there. Go to the blog. It is your best friend. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye.